Hi everyone, so today we are going to start the Macromolecule Murder Mystery Lab. Uh, for those of us at home, you are going to watch this video to see what uh, the other students did in class today. And if you are a student who's in class, you can watch this video to remember what you did when you're writing your analysis. So let's start off with our control groups. For our control groups, we're just going to use water instead of um, the stomach contents of the victim. So what we're gonna do is we're going to fill up the little pipette here up to the one milliliter line. And we're going to place this in the first test tube so that we have one milliliter of water in there. We're going to put the Benedict's qualitative solution into our first little test tube here and we are going to do two milliliters of that. So this is a, another pipette and we're going to fill it all the way up to one milliliter. And then we put that in our test tube and now we're going to do a second milliliter. and put that in our test tube right here. This reaction needs some heat to occur, so we're going to put it in a water bath for about three minutes, and then I will show you what it looks like at the end of the three minutes. For our next test, we are going to put water in our test tube again as our control, but this time we're gonna do two milliliters of water For this test, we are going to use iodine solution. With iodine, this is an indicator for starches. If there was starch in here, the, the solution would turn bluish purple black but as you can see, it's not that color, so we know that our water control is working. Now that the solution has been in there for three minutes, it's ready to come out and we can put it in the test tube rack very gently. We see that it is still blue, so that means the reaction didn't occur and there are no simple sugars in our water, which is what we expect out of our control. Now we are going to do our third control test. So we are going to use two milliliters of water again. There's two milliliters of water going into our test tube. And now we are going to use one milliliter of burette reagent. and put this in our water. We see the mixture is still clear, or the solution is still clear. In the presence of proteins, this solution would be a purple-brown color, but we can see that it's not, so that's good because it's just water. Our last test solution is going to be using Sudan 3, which is a test for lipids. We are going to fill our test tube half full with water this time. And I would say that's about half. And now we are going to put six drops of Sudan 3 in here. And now we are going to cover with our thumb and shake it. Okay. In the presence of lipids, a foamy fat layer form at the top that would turn red. However, there's no lipids in this water and I don't see a foamy layer. So there's no lipids in this water, which is good because it is our control. 
Now we are moving on to the results portion of the lab. So if you are absent, these are the results that you are going to use for your lab. So we had our first test right here, which was testing for simple sugars. We're bringing that out and we can see that that's green. And now let's look at that compared to our control sample, which is definitely blue. And you guys can figure out based on the color what is probably present in the stomach contents of the victim. So the result is that the stomach contents of the victim turned green while the control stayed blue. Okay, so now instead of using water, we'll use our victim's stomach contents. We'll put two milliliters of their stomach contents into the test tube. And now we are going to test for starches using iodine. So let's take our iodine. There's already two drops left in here, hopefully. So we're just gonna put two drops of iodine in here. And you can see it's turning a purple black color, turning a purple black color. And so that is our result for test two for starches is that purple black color. Next, we are gonna do our protein test. In order to test for proteins, we have to, again, add our victim's stomach contents into the test tube. We'll do two milliliters of that. And to that, we are going to add one milliliter of Fioret solution. So, we get one milliliter of that. And you can see our solution is still basically the same color as the uh, stomach contents of the victim. There was no change. The last test is we are testing for lipids. For this test, we are going to fill about half, uh, or we're going to fill about half of the test tube with equal parts stomach contents and water. So a quarter each, approximately. Doesn't have to be perfect for this one. We just need a good amount of solution in there. Try not to get too many chunks. <laughs> you know, this, the victim was not done digesting his food when he was murdered. So now we're going to add the water. Well, it's about half full. And lastly, we can add six drops of the Sudan 3 solution. Six drops. Now we're gonna put our thumb over it and shake it. Okay. You can see this is the test tube right here. It's looking very cloudy and slightly red and we'll just wait to see if a layer forms on there when it settles we will be able to see the layer forming